I started out doing regular stop motion animation for TV, video. When I started making games, it seemed like a good way to make sprite games. It was a good method that I had for generating 2D sprites. But what we're doing now is quite a lot more complicated than that. And it's become sort of more about the challenge of how close can we get to uh, creating a convincing illusion of the stop motion animation as opposed to using conventional CG methods. I think that in building the models by hand and photographing them in a way that captures the little idiosyncrasies of the models, it gives the whole look of the thing an intimacy, I guess, that people will respond to it like they respond to a handmade thing. Uh, so this is the process that we um, go through in order to create our models and composite them together in the scenes in the game. Everything starts out as preliminary sketches that I scrawled out at the start of designing the game, which allows us to go through and see all the different elements that we need to build. And then each one of those models is built individually, either by myself uh, in New Zealand or by Sarah in the UK. And then the models are photographed, cut out, cleaned up in Photoshop. And then we take that image and we sort of extrude it into 3D by mapping it onto a mesh of triangles and just sort of pulling out parts of the shape to create a relief sculpture, which looks 3D from the front. Although we're making essentially a 2D side-scrolling game, we're using 3D models to represent everything. So if we're going to composite them all together in a way that doesn't look like a bunch of flat photographs stuck together, then we're going to need to account for parallax. We're not dealing with full 3D shapes, but um, as long as the camera keeps pointing forward, then the illusion is maintained. This is one of my models here. is a little stop-motion footage of me actually building a model of a barn. It's one of the larger models in the game. Uh, even though we're assembling everything from pieces, I still wanted to use larger freestanding models as much as I could and really try to make sure that the computer didn't end up dominating the process too much, that there was still plenty of, of old-fashioned modelling being used.